All right, let's turn now to the tropics and Chief Meteorologist Bobby Deskins. Bobby D, we thought we might see Josephine tonight, but uh, seems like didn't quite get there. You know, I was thinking we'd get it close to about 5 o'clock this afternoon. It's starting to get a little bit organized, especially by this afternoon. But this evening, it's still looking a little sluggish. So 11 p.m. update from the Hurricane Center just out, and they're still going with Tropical Depression 11. Just to give you some perspective, I mean, here's Florida. This thing's over, well, almost 700 miles from Barbados still at this point. So it's way out there, uh, but still a tropical depression. Depression number 11, 35 mile per hour winds moving to the west at 15 miles per hour. Pressure is about 1,007 millibars. None of that has really changed today. The structure is getting a little bit better, but not a whole lot. It, it's really struggled today. The forecast, though, does call for this to turn into Tropical Storm Josephine. In fact, by tomorrow afternoon or evening, it's 45 mile per hour winds. That's you know, 39 and up gives it a Tropical Storm, 73 and up uh, gives it a hurricane, 74 it should be. Uh, by, look what happens by Saturday. We've got 60 to 50 mile per hour winds Friday into Saturday. It's starting to weaken a little bit because of some wind shear that'll be blowing on it from the south and the west as it gets towards these islands. Also, the steering currents will want to turn this up towards the north as well. And so put those two together and a forecast that says not only is it going from 45 mile per hour winds down to 40, down to 35 mile per hour winds. That's great, right? It's weakening, but it's also turning off towards the north. Now, not good news for Bermuda, although it's good news if you think about the storm is weakening. You can see a lot of the forecast models are trying to get that turn to happen. And so that's why I'm not too worried about this. We're going to keep a close eye on it, but don't you fret about it too much. Next name on the list, certainly going to be Josephine. If it happens before August 22nd, which if it's going to be this storm, it will happen before then. It'll be a new record for the earliest a J storm has made its appearance in the season. 